Hello. <clears throat> Today I want to show you how to actually mix uh, a standard Lagos Afrobeat. This is a standard Lagos Afrobeat. I actually produced the song. I made the beat. Uh, I did the recording myself, and uh, I'm still in the process of mixing. So I just want to show you how to actually mix a standard Lagos Afrobeat on FL Studio. So, um, quick one into this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I actually used um, uh, the virtual mix rack on this on this song, uh, and this is the vocal. Let me just play. Uh, the whole song with the vocal so you could hear it too many niggas on my radar point thank you many fishes in my river but you can't get my love for free gotta do a little more than pay some bills can i call my mama say i found my prince baby if it don't work out to go pay me if you promise i'll be the only you can have my love for the taking okay so sorry for my uh for the outburst my CPU is kind of messing up right now, but um, nevertheless, well, it wouldn't stop us from learning something good for today. So, this is the channel where I actually laid uh, my stuff. So, for the purpose of this video, I actually didn't do much. Uh, for the purpose of this uh, vocal mixing, I actually didn't do much stuff trying to, you know, destroy the whole uh, vocal and whatever. I actually just loaded my virtual mix rack, and what I did was to just come to the preset and i came to vocal I actually use the exciting vocals and immediately i had uh this loaded i didn't mess with the uh, with the uh, uh with the whole processing something like um the compression i didn't touch the compression because i felt the compression was perfect for me it wasn't going out and the compression was a bit mid it wasn't that harsh it wasn't too soft so i felt okay with the compression what i actually did was just uh to play with a bit of the of the eq so i just click on the cs eq and when it loaded uh, i just try to remove a bit of the the low frequency and then the bit of the high frequency before uh you know the exciting this is the exciting part of the frequency and this is the high free, uh, part of the frequency so i just did uh, a bit of it so immediately i just touched this i noticed uh my vocal was a bit clear so i went into doing my uh my tuning and i just got the key the uh that's the key it's actually b uh major so i just turned the routine speed uh i think to just 10 percent and i was okay with that since she was a lady it was a lady who actually sang this also not just to move much of it and i actually did this dehumanized to 50 percent so i didn't want much of that auto tune on her vocal so i just wanted a beat uh, so the next thing I did was just to try to I just mess around with this EQ the default EQ on the mixer channel I just took down the, the 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 low level the low shelf level and just a bit of the uh, high shelf level so the next thing I did just to you know remove the the harsh sounds from uh, the vocal the S sounds I just touched uh, the DSR from stereo of the DSR from waves I just did it 35% and then I actually used the NS1 to remove those background noise from the vocal. I didn't actually have to waste time on mixing this track. It was just a simple process. So I just, so let me play just the solo of the vocal so you could hear it. Too many niggas on my radar. Point thank you, many fishes in my river. But you can't get my love for free. Gotta do a little more than pay some bills. Can I call my mama say I found my prince, baby? If it don't work out, it go bam. So okay, this was how I did it. So for uh, trying to get more of the of the uh, of of so, so trying to get something like um, the the compound voice, I used uh, I used my reverb and actually used uh, what did they call it the Valhalla reverb. So as you can see, I just routed it to channel sixteen, and on channel sixteen, I loaded my Valhalla. And then I used the Valhalla vocal hall from Halls. And I just went to the vocal hall. That's the last one here. And immediately I loaded. As you can see, it's actually routed. You could see this. Actually, just had to uh, in the insert. I just had to use it just a bit. I think to 55%. And then I had to load also my. So let me play it with the, uh, the vocal without it. And then I unmute it too, so that you could hear how 
uh, my verb comes Too from. many niggas on my radar. Point, thank you, many bitches in my river. So but you can't get my love for free. Reverb. Gotta do a little more than pay. So, okay, this is it. So, I had to just uh, use my fruity delay. I just used the fruity delay too. And I just had to tweak some knobs just to get some few results. Uh, especially for this, the time was just 4.00. So, I just had to, you know, reduce the volume from here up to uh, 15%. And that was the only thing I did. You know, actually trying to use this delay, this is like, uh, this 4.0 is exactly like following the tempo of the song. So I had to route it to, to the channel, as you can see, it's routed. And then I just had to, the level of the insert was just around uh, 34%. Yeah, that was it. So let me play it. Uh, with, without and with the reverb. Too many niggas on my radar. Point, thank you, many fishes in my river. But you can't get my love for free. Gotta do a little so, more than pay some bills. So this was how I actually mixed the main vocal. So uh, I have uh, something again I want to show you. Yes, I think for the backup vocals. Too many niggas on my radar. Okay, this is it. So, for the background vocals, I actually wanted some choir vocals. So, when I, I actually just copy uh, the auto tune and the visual mix rack from my uh, from my main vocal and then to this place. Oh, my CPU is kind of messing up. Sorry for that. Okay, so what I did was just after I loaded this two. I just had to load the AVOX Square from uh, Antas and immediately I loaded it, I didn't touch anything because it uh, the, the first part of it actually comes with a default, you know, setting that you could actually use without even tweaking or touching any, any knobs on it. So this is what I did with it and then I had to just route it to my, uh, to my Valhalla uh, reverb and then I just, uh, the insert was around 92% just to get that much uh, so that it would give me that choir sound. So this is how it sounds. Hey, some girls. If it don't work out, it will be me. If you can't have my love for it, turn it in. Okay, so this is it too. Let me just play it from the beginning. Oh, sorry for my, for the outburst. My uh, CPU is kind of messing up. So let me just play the whole thing so you could get how I did this whole work. Too many niggas on my radar. Point, thank you, many fishes in my river. But you can't get my love for free. Gotta do a little more than pay some bills. And I call my mama, say I found my prince, baby. If it don't work out, it go pay me. If you promise, I'll be the only you can have my love for the taking. Okay, so this is it. How I mixed uh, a Lego standard Afrobeat. Sorry for the outburst from my CPU. Uh, I I actually for, I actually couldn't uh, just stand uh, uh, stand uh, just trying to you know uh, break down and try to uh, convert my midis to audio. So because I haven't finished mixing uh, everything yet, but for the vocals, I am ninety percent to hundred percent mix done mixing uh, the vocals. But for the instrument, I'm not yet done mixing them. That's why I couldn't uh, just go into converting them to audio or bouncing them to audio so don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel grow i'll be bringing out more videos uh, very simple tutorials for beginners and amateurs out there thank you too many niggas on my radar point thank you many fishes in my river but you can't get my love for free gotta do a little more than pay some bills and i call my mama say i found my prince baby